Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 with you here today, and I'm here to do a quick benchmark comparison test using Cinebench, uh, the benchmark test that actually measures the graphics power of your video card. And I'm going to be comparing my Sapphire HD 7950, the one that I just installed into my Mac Pro. If you do follow my videos, they were the past two videos that I have done. Feel free to check them out on my channel if you haven't. And I'm going to do it to the old card that I had, which was the Radeon. 5770 so that was the card uh, that's in my Mac Pro this is the Mac edition uh, as you may or may not know and this is actually the card that is supposed to be a lot better than the current card and the reason I did it was because the old one was getting rather slow was getting rather sluggish and I think it was also starting to have some uh, technical problems um, within the within the video card itself uh, I had seen some pixelation and such uh, throughout the time that I had in there past couple of months so hoping this card would have been a little bit better so I'm going to show you guys the benchmarks here for the Sapphire Fire HD 7950. I'm going to show it, of course, for uh, my original card right here, as you can see, uh, the Radeon HD uh, 5770. And as you guys can see right here, uh, it was uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, that was my uh, system. And uh, here's what it got a score of. It got a score of uh, 29.32. Uh, frames per second and as you can see it wasn't exactly the best in the class uh, there was a lot above it uh, that we're getting much 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 higher scores uh, than this card was right here but now I'm going to show you the marks for the other card here I'm just kind of pull this to the side so you can see both and this is going to be of course for the 7950 and just kind of looking here at the two marks uh, you can actually see that it is lower uh, Leo Laporte did do a test on this and he got the exact same results that were actually lower than the original card that was in the system so it is rather interesting to see this the fact that you know this is a benchmark running at 64 bit it's running on you know uh, 8 core Mac Pro 16 threads 2.4 gigahertz uh, you know the machine is actually very good and the video card is supposed to be much better but it actually scored lower than my prior card, the 5770, uh, moving on up to the 7950 here. Um, it was almost a full frame uh, lower than the actual uh, card that it was replacing. So I don't know how much you can actually look into this test and actually say that this is going to be, you know, the dual end all to this card. Just wanted to share this with you guys here today. Um, I've been using the card for uh, the past couple of days now. I've been doing some video editing on it, some sound editing, uh, using some of the graphics performance. I'm not really a gamer, so I haven't been able to test that. But I have not seen anything that would allow me to believe that this card is at all bad it was definitely much better than my last card it's got a little bit more horsepower under the hood which is nice um, so it's running things a little bit smoother so I'm not sure exactly how much these benchmarks can go into the full-on experience factor of this card you know numbers are numbers but an experience is a different thing and uh, I've been very happy with the card the past couple of days even if the benchmarks would have to say otherwise in this particular case so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video like I said if anything this will give you an idea at least what the benchmarks are like I said I don't take too much into this uh, the card's been great so far, but we'll we'll see. Like I said, I've only been using it a couple of days, and I want to give you guys a full review after I've used it for a while, hopefully a uh, couple of weeks, and uh, we'll see what happens there. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to hit that like button right below this video if you have liked this video. That helps me out a lot. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It is free. You'll always be updated on my latest videos as well as my review video coming up here in a couple of weeks, and I try to make a little bit of everything on my channel from uh, tech content like this where I give you guys ratings of uh, video cards as well as unboxings, reviews, and any other tech articles I might happen to find interesting, please feel free to check out my channel as well. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So guys, it is the weekend, so I'm going to let you guys get out of here, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one till then, guys.